Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I hope everybody's having a fabulous day today. If you are into bags just as much as I am, you're going to be obsessed with my channel. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified of all my upcoming videos, make sure you hit that little bell notification icon so it'll remind you about my new videos that I upload. You can also follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. It's at joshi.michael. So today I just wanted to share with you a, another Louis Vuitton item that I picked up. This is not a true unboxing. I'm not even unboxing it. It's just sitting here. So I'm just going to show you it. But first, I did want to share another item that I picked up recently. And that was another Roberto coin bracelet. So this one here is the one that I had previously in the 18 karat rose gold. And then I went ahead and picked up another one. And this is an 18 karat yellow gold. So I just wanted to share that. And each of uh, Roberto coin items, they have a ruby. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It's on the back of the clasp here. Right there. So each one of these has a real uh, ruby on the uh, underside of the, of the little lobster clasp thing. But I love these bracelets. So when I got my first one, I knew I was gonna be obsessed with it. And so I wanted to get another one in the yellow gold because they, for my wrist, they stack really well on here. They don't, see how they don't like fall? They, they pretty much stay in the stationary uh, place, but there is some movement to them still. So they're not too tight and not too loose. So I really like these bracelets. I definitely recommend these uh, Roberto coin bracelets. Okay, let's show you the bag. I was lucky enough to pick up the Louis Vuitton Speedy Bandolier 25 in monogram, and guess what? It's made in France, you bitch. Right there. So here's like the, here's the side. Front. The other side. The back. The bottom. But yes, I was able to pick this up from Louis Vuitton right before the price increase as well. So I got it um, for the, you know, it, the speedies didn't go up like an astronomical amount, but they still went up quite a bit. But I was thankful that I was able to not only get a Speedy 25 bandolier in monogram, which I really wanted, but I got it where it was made in France too. So I thought that was pretty sweet. I kind of just lucked out with that. Uh, but it is possible you still can get these in the United States made in France so you, all you got to do is make phone calls and just basically do what I did which I hunted all of these bags down before the price increases and I just kept at it and just kept calling and calling and calling and calling and trying to find somebody who had the bags in stock and I lucked out and was able to pick this up so let me show you I mean everybody's already seen this bag but you know I just wanted to share I'm really excited about it because if I was not able to get the plain monogram, okay, before the price increase, I was gonna go ahead and order a My LV Heritage and just try it for that again, because I still am regretting that I did not just keep the bag. It, the whole, the Mon monogram, My LV Heritage situation was so obnoxious, but anyway, moving on. Strap. It's something, was it with this strap or another strap? Okay, tell me if I'm like, no, there's no, I feel like, I feel like these two clasps look like they're different colors. Tell me if you guys see this or if it's just my mind. Hold on, let me try to figure out how to hold these like, so you can see what I'm talking about. These clasps, I swear, are two different colors. Are they not? Do they look like two different colors to you? Seriously. I feel like this one looks more yellow than this one does. Even just sitting here under these bright freaking lights, I swear to you, this one looks more yellow than this one. Are we psycho? Probably. No, I swear to you, these look totally I'm very sensitive to everything. I notice small little changes like this. 
I swear, this cl these clasps are two freaking different colors. I mean, and I'm dropping the bag. Hold on. Sit. Like, look at this. Those are two different colors. You can totally see. This one here, this one's more yellow than this one. I'm gonna complain. I'm gonna have to have this strap swapped out. Because they look like two different colors. Okay, anyway. Moving on. And then I have uh, the dust bag, of course. The lock and key and everything is still in this little box. I haven't even taken that out yet. So they do come in these little boxes. And it's all wrapped up still. So you got your keys and then you got your lock that's just wrapped up in this paper here. I'm just gonna leave it for right now because I'm not gonna even use it. So we're just gonna stick it back in here and just, we're just gonna have to pray about it. Okay. And then I did, I did stuff. The reason I did not show this as an unboxing was because I stuffed it right away. So I take all this air bubblation and stuff my bags. So I immediately, I, as soon as it came, I got it out and I stuffed. I stuffed it like a strudel. And here's the strudel. Stuffed. And there's a little something. What is that? Oh, it looks like, um, like a fuzzy. Yeah, it's just a little fuzzy or something. But here's the inside. It's obviously the new version with the, the zipper pocket there and the puppy chaps. I just really wanted the 25 in monogram bandolier because I love my Damier a Ben one that I bought, I sold, and then I just re a brand new one. I. You know, that happens sometimes where you think you don't need something or want something anymore and then it's gone and then you're like, what was I thinking? And then you want it back and you keep thinking about it. And I, so now these are like forever bags. I'm just keeping them forever because I know I, I love them and I will use them all. So I don't even know why I even thought about getting rid of them in the first place. But that's just what happens sometimes. You live, you learn, and you move on. But look how beautiful this is. Is this not gorgeous? This is just, this just screams classic to me. Just screams it. Are you screaming? I'm screaming, we're all screaming. Look at the scream edge. I just love the zipper pulls and just the puffy chaps and like everything. And this one's kind of interesting because there's like, you can see a little bit of the grain and the leather in that piece. It doesn't bother me though. What bothers me is the two, these are not, I swear these are different colors. Please, will you comment down below if you see the two different shades? I'm just like sitting here looking at them. They are, they're two different shades. These are not even the same shade. They're two different shades. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I think we need a thumbnail, right? Hold on. Should we do this like a thumbnail? Just want to make sure we got it. Okay, <laughs> well, there we have it. That's it. Another Louis Vuitton bag added to the Josh and Michael boutique uh, bag collection. So thank you so very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Please drop a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know if you have this bag or an older one even. I would love to hear your story about your bag. Send me a message on Instagram with pictures. I always love when you guys do that. Let me know if you see the color difference in these two clasps here. They're two different colors. Come on now. Look at that. Those are two different colors. Let me know what you guys think. I do appreciate it. And until next time, you guys keep it tight. Talk to you later. Bye.